Hey guys, Heidi Easley here at Texas Art and Soul, and I am bringing Martha to you. She's gonna be talking about her success with Art Kits, and I just wanna welcome her. Welcome, thank you for being here. Hi, Heidi. I'm so happy to have this conversation with you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So let's just get right into it. First, tell us where they can find you on Facebook, and then um, tell us a little bit about um, maybe what's happened with you selling these Art Kits over the past few weeks. Okay, um, my business page is um, Paint Happy Social Painting um, on Facebook. And then I also have on Instagram, it's Paint underscore Happy underscore PSL, which is Port St. Lucie. I, I, we live in Port St. Lucie, Florida. So it's um, for your Facebook, it's Paint Happy Social Painting. And then Instagram is Paint underscore Happy. PSL oh, underscore PSL to underscore. Okay. Yeah. PSL. Okay. And then these art kits. So you're having some success. Tell us what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. I've been, I've been selling these art kits like for three weeks now. Um, I remember one night, like at the end of March, I saw one of our sisters posting something, Mandy, I think it was posting something. Uh, about the art kits, he was really late at night, like 11.30, something like that. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna do this. Let's see how it works. Like in the morning, I had like, like six or seven orders. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna do this. And I started to do it and then taking pictures of the kits and posting on both of the pages on Instagram and Facebook. And I've been doing that. I've been doing that a lot. And also, not only the painting kits, but then I started, I had some people that would reach out to ask for, like for family packets. Awesome. Uh, so I started to do that. Um, it's a little bit more of work because each family member, they ask what they want. So, and I say yes to everything. <laughs> I, yes 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 oh, can you do this yes i can do it so i do everything that people ask me for so for the for the family kids it's like different they I, i've done like little canvas like all sizes and it depends on what they want so i put everything together and they have the whole thing. And I have asked them, do you want me to connect with you and you know, to give you instructions or something? No, but no, people, I think they wanna do their own thing and that's fine. So um, I've been doing that. And then I enjoy so much also doing the wood cutouts mm -hmm. that I do them myself. So I, one day, I like uh, the three or four days ago, I said, okay, I'm gonna start doing that. And I posted, and then I have sold nine of those kits of the wood cut out. And um, so that's basically what I'm doing. I'm, I, I haven't been working at all in the virtual paint parties or anything like that, because like all my time, I'm just putting together the kits. Yeah, oh my gosh. So I know right now, um people that are watching this because we'll probably air this within the next next couple of weeks so how are you because i know a big challenge has been getting supplies so i know you're cutting your own wood and i know like lowe's and home depot those types of places are open how are you getting your supplies for the other stuff yeah for us here in port St. lucy we are i'm in florida uh, you can go and get your supplies at michael's curbside pickup oh so, yeah that's very convenient, but at the beginning, I had a lot of supplies that I had, like uh, everything. Basically, I was just uh, going to buy canvas because I had lots of paint and, uh, well, the brushes, I've been buying the brushes at the dollar store. At the dollar store? The dollar store. Okay. There are like, like uh, some kids with five or six different brushes, so I just, you know, divide and I just put in the in the kids kits just two brushes. And then for the for the bigger kits, for the family kits, because sometimes they ask for a bigger canvas like 16 by 20 or 20 or 
12 by 14. So I add like an extra brush that is bigger for the, for the background. So what but, would you say, so what are you charging for your kids and your adult kids? For, for the kids' kids, $12. Okay. And they've been selling super good. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it's so funny because some people say, oh my God, we know that you're doing this just to help everybody because this price is so affordable. Yeah. And I said, oh, okay, I'm fine. So I've been selling everything for the kids' kids for, for $12. At the same time, uh, if somebody wants like a special kit, they tell me. Because I try to, I try to build this relationship with a person, you know, every time, every time they contact me. So I start to ask questions. And sometimes they have boys. And for boys, it's a little bit harder. Yeah, I love For the boys, I've been doing football players, baseball players, like I, I made a design with the football player or the baseball player from the back. So it only shows that the jersey and they want me to write like they, their favorite player or if they do play a sport, so their last name with their name. So that's been very popular with the boys. That's so cool. Yeah, so I try, I try to do what they ask me to do. Mm -hmm. So that's for the, for the kids' paints, it's $12. Then <clears throat> for the family, it depends on the size of the canvas. Like if it's, uh, but, but it's, it's higher the price. I'm not charging the $12. It's definitely, even if it's uh, 8 by 10, mm -hmm. I'm charging 25 And then for, for the uh, 16 by, by 20, it's 30. So I've been charging 30, 25, something like that. That's awesome. And because you're given instructions with that, they want to do it themselves. Yeah, they want to do it themselves. And but the thing is that I'm I've been doing what they want me to do. So they send me an idea like, oh, I like this kind of flower. Like I have a friend that also is from Central America, from another country in Central America. So she, she showed me like the flower that is from her country. And she said, oh, I want to paint this flower. I said, okay, it's fine. I'm gonna draw it for you. Mm -hmm. So I do that, you know, and at the beginning I didn't know how much to charge, but then I realized that it was like a lot of work mm -hmm. for me to, um, to personalize each one. Right. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna do this. And, and I charged the first one and the person was so happy with it. Mm -hmm. So for the second kit for families, I did the same. Perfect. And uh, some of them asked me, oh, can we borrow the, the um, table easels? So I even borrowed them, like for pe people that I, I really know that are close to me. So I've done that. And um, I like to do that because it's challenging for me. Like every time that somebody tell me, oh, can you draw this? Can you do this? Yes, yes, I can do it. And then I'm like, oh my God, I don't know. This is going to take time, but I'm going to do it. You're, it's like you're reminding me of my surfboard painting days because, I, you know, they would come up and I literally, for 20 bucks, I would custom paint whatever they wanted on it. I mean, I remember like, you know, I wouldn't do this now because I know it's copyright, but I remember somebody was like, paint me SpongeBob. And so I got like SpongeBob surfing, you know, on a surfboard and just like the craziest stuff. Like, you know, it was totally personalized. And I think you have like such a, um, like a, such a gift here because you're not only providing art kits, you know, just the generic ones that you could do, but you're saying like, tell me what you want. And then your customers are buying it because you're doing, exactly. you're giving them exactly what they want. So can you speak to a little bit of the person who's maybe they're fearful of trying stuff like this. And, you know, like you said, you looked at it at 1130 at night, saw it, was inspired and took action, woke up to orders. What would you say to that person that's maybe scared thinking this can't work for me? No, I think that we have to give it a try because it doesn't matter if it doesn't work. It's just, my mom used to tell me all the time, you know, the worst answer that you can get is no, and it's okay, that's fine, nothing happens. So that's, that's what we have to do. 
like we have to be resourceful and when uh, time changes like now that we are living like a different kind of situation we have to change with that because life is change and when we just stay in the same place we get too comfortable and we have to go out of that so and to look for more resources mm -hmm. so we don't have to be afraid like the worst that can happen is that nothing happens yeah nobody okay. orders then you don't put the kids together <laughs> so you go to your next idea right. and um, so i think that's that that's um what i would say that we have to give it a try nothing is going to happen if nobody orders you go to the next idea that's why we are like so blessed to be in the, on this group because this group is full of talented people like even in the creative area in the artistic there are many many different ways in which every person apports something different so it doesn't work with this idea from this person or your own idea so we have like a lot of resources in this group with you so um, yeah i think just give it a try what what i love so much and and i've been interviewing you know some other members in paint party headquarters is i am i am so tired of this starving artist mentality and i love like when i talk to you and i talk to other people that have this like you know what the worst thing that can happen is nobody orders or they say no but what could happen and in your case you know instead of you know like i mean we could just be sitting here binging on netflix until our face falls off but instead it's like it's given us a purpose it's given us you know extra money for our family and what has it done for you being able to do this during this time yeah for me it opened a new door because like Heidi, it took a long time for me to decide what I really wanted to do. Like I hit this stage in my life that I said, okay, now, because I have four daughters, but now then I got to this stage that I said, the youngest one is 14. So I said, no, I gotta do something. You know, I've been here for 10 years and I used to have my art studio in Honduras. It was different. So it was very challenging for me to know what to do, what to do next, because I didn't own a studio here. That's when I found you in that process of that research yeah. that I was doing, I found you. So I started to go over everything about you. And then I said, yes, identify with her. This is what I wanna do. And, and we go to the we go back to the same thing you have to give it a try i didn't even know if it if it was going to work for me or but i said no i gotta try and then in my in my home in my family i started to talk about you and everybody was like who is she <laughs> who is heidi and then now everything that i say it's like no heidi says this thing and they're <laughs> like oh, okay okay you're like a family like a family member here no oh. at the beginning at the beginning they were look at they were looking at me like who is she you know you're talking about her like we know her we don't know her but now you are like like a very familiar name here oh i want to come here I know you in my family <laughs> I want to meet them. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, but it, but it's true. Um, so um, we have to give it a try in everything that we do because we have to change with everything. And when this happened, like I was telling you about the kids, I said, "Oh my God!" It took me so long, so long time to know exactly what I wanted to do. And I was doing the paint parties, you know, the in-person paint parties. And then I thought, oh, and now this. Why? I was getting comfortable. I was getting comfortable in that for, I think, six months because I started with you, I think, in August. Mm -hmm. So it's been like it was six months that I was doing paint parties. So I became like very comfortable with that idea. 
because that's what I was doing. So I was not looking for anything else. But when this happened, mm -hmm. I said, it can be, it can be. It took me so long and now I have to change and do something else. But then it's when the painting kits started, you know? It's crazy how like, you know, and something that's so awful that's happening to the world right now. It's like creatives and artists and especially the women in Paint Party headquarters. It's like they have stepped up, like you have stepped up and you're like, no, you know, we just got to adapt and change. And I think there's something to be said for, you know, I, I always talk about this Paint Party adventure and you never know where it's going to lead. Like you just don't know, like you take one step, you're doing in-person parties, you know, and now you're doing art kits. Like it, you just don't know like what is going to happen next year. And I think sometimes we, we go, we'll do that one day. We'll do that one day. And then we have this massive shift in our entire world, our being, our everything. And then I don't know about you, but I have this more urgency of, I'm going to stop saying I'm going to do something then. Like I have this urgency of, no, we don't, we're not promised tomorrow. Make exactly. it happen now. Is that kind of how you feel too? Yeah. The only day for sure, or not only day, the moment that you have, that we have, is now. So I was like that for a long time, just saying, yes, I want to do something until my husband said, okay. Because I was looking up what to do, you know, like sometimes the transition to another country, even though it was 10 years already, but I, when we came, our daughters were young, so it wasn't the right time. But I, I, was, I kept saying all the time, yeah, I want to do something, but I don't know what. I want to do something. And then he said, okay, you have to do what you know how to do and what you enjoy doing. And that's how I ended up in this group. And I feel very blessed to be here because um, it's not only the ideas, but it's all the, you know, like everything, the, the caring, the spiritual help, everything. It's, it's just... Uh, the whole package, the whole package for me. So I, I love having you a part of it. I mean, what would you, what would you say? Like, I mean, I know we're about to be transitioning into this new normal. How do you, how do you feel your, um, how do you feel your paint party future going? Like, what do you see happening? I, I really think that for, for some time, I don't think we're going to have the, person to person, the in-person paint parties, or at least even if we are allowed, I don't know if many people are going to feel, feel comfortable. Not even me. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. You know, even if we co can go out, how cautious we have to be. And um, so I definitely see like what you are encouraging us to do, like uh, to go with the virtual paint parties. And now I'm in that stage because, because I'm so busy with the painting kits, doing all that stuff, that again, I'm getting comfortable. <laughs> Isn't you know? it weird how quick we can get comfortable with something exactly. that we were so scared of? But why? Because, because the first time that you do it, you don't know how to do it. Yeah. You know? so it's a little anxious. But once you see, oh, yeah, I can do this. I can, whew, I can do it. So you get comfortable, but then when it's challenging for, like for me, it's going to be a challenge mm -hmm. to do the virtual paint parties because um, I've been used to, it, it was a challenge for me because I used to teach more, you know, like teach, like the kids come and they, they right. used to leave the, the paintings for the next week, they would come back. So it was a different thing. And with you, I, I learned about the fun art, like it's fun art. Yeah. So that was the challenge for me just to, you know, to reverse or to change that and start to just teach like different, in a different way. So, so that's, that's, that's what's happening right now that I know, I know I have to go with a virtual <laughs> or ship. Something like that, but oh, I don't know. It's always <laughs> scary. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, you know, you do the art kits. You were scared 
first to do those. You started doing them, you're having success, you're already getting comfortable with it. Just like when you were doing in-person parties, I'm sure your first one was scary. Um, and, and then now we're talking about, you know, online paint parties. I just, you know, got off um, another interview with um, one of our members who just this weekend alone, you know, she's had her brick and mortar for 10 years. And so because it closed down, you know, she's had a, a lot of people, you know, on her email list, of course. So she's been able to, to fill it faster. But she has just this weekend, 350 paid painters for an online paint party. And so mm -hmm. I think sometimes we underestimate what can happen. And then there's these huge opportunities. So what would you tell somebody who's, who's just timid or scared to take the next step? How could you inspire them? Yeah, I like it, that it's happening to me. And maybe it's not that, that, that you are totally scared. It's that you have to start learning how to do it. And sometimes if you don't take action, so in your mind, it's like a lot of more things going on. Like you imagine everything more complicated mm -hmm. than it really is. So that, I think we have to overcome that. It's, it, it's, it's basically the same idea. Like if it doesn't, if it, nothing happens, nothing happens. So it's, but I think that, that for me, it's more like to know the whole process. And maybe in my mind, I make it, I making everything more complicated than yeah. really is. So I don't want anybody to do that. <laughs> so, so just, I did, I did one for the sunrise. Um, for yes, Easter, Easter sunrise. You did the yeah. challenge? Yeah, I, I did that and I said, okay, I'm going to give it a try. And I did, I don't feel very comfortable uh, right now, but I, I know that with practice, we're going to get there. So I, I would tell everybody, you know, again, just, just let's just give it a try. Yeah. So if you're unsure of what she's talking about, so in Paint Party Headquarters, I, I teach hundreds of women how to do in-person parties. Now we're doing art kits and we're doing online paint parties. And I challenge them to go live and do like an Easter yeah. sunrise. And so a lot of women, and this was the first time you've ever gone live. So was that the first time for you to go live? No, I, I have been live before, but not painting live. Mm, okay. Like I went live before to make um, a giveaway the week before that I had an announcement in my, in my Facebook page. So I, I, I did a live for that and it was okay. And I did other ones it, while I was in paint parties too, like in the actual paint parties. But it was the first time that I was really painting and talking at the same time. And, you know, and <laughs> I didn't know oh, what I'm going to do. So my daughters, I said, okay, you're going to be the technical assistants for me. And so one of them was reading the, all the comments. Oh, that's awesome. And that was so funny because a lot of people started to make the comments in Spanish. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, she's 15. She's 15 now, but she's more comfortable speaking English than Spanish now. Mm -hmm. So she was reading all the, the, the comments in Spanish and she was doing a, like a lot of effort so on that time I had them I said okay help me you know so we can also do that you know look for look for resources like that that makes us feel more comfortable well and that's so sweet that your daughters are willing to help you with that too. <laughs> they always uh, everybody I, I'm so blessed because I've been having a lot of support with my uh, from my family my family, it's like, they, they are, they celebrate everything, everything that I do, oh. like from my home and my daughters. So I'm, I'm very blessed in that sense because they push me, they push me to, to be better, to go forward, you know, when they say, oh, you are so good doing this, you are so good. I'm well, like, okay, you know how talented you are, you know, I mean. 
just look at your paintings behind you. They're beautiful and they know how talented you are and they want to see you succeed. And I'm sure too, you know, just being on a Facebook live and, and having like, that's the next step. You know, a lot of people are, are nervous about that. But when I, I'm like, guys, y'all just don't understand the potential. There's so much potential because yeah. you're going from a local paint party and even local art kits to now potentially anywhere in the world, you know, potentially all over the United States. And just, just like me and you talking right now, we would have never connected if I wouldn't have, you know, even done that Facebook Live when I was terrified and shaking, you know, I wouldn't have ever I remember that I saw that. Yeah. yeah. So, so we have we have to take advantage of this group because of course, like you say all the time, you 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 have gone through all the process for 10 years or more years. So we basically don't have to, you know, like make that mistake because you already made that mistake. <gasps> made them all. Yeah. Still made them. Made mistake. <laughs> so we're taking advantage of that. So yeah. this, this, yeah. So so this that's why it's so good to be in a group like this. Yeah. Because because you made all the mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to make mistakes if it helps make y'all money. I'm just I'm just saying. Very happy to keep making mistakes. If it's gonna yeah, me help too. And that, yeah, me too. And that's and that's natural because in everything you do, there is a possibility that you're gonna make a mistake. And I've done mistakes also in the paint parties that then I say, oh my God, how, how did I do that? How did I forget that? How, you know, but you, you overcome that and you go to the next mm -hmm. learning something from your experience. It's so true. So true. Yeah. So, so you and your family, um, you said you're from Honduras. How long have y'all lived here? How how be, how long we've been here? Mm -hmm. We've been here for ten years, but we are we are always close to the ocean. We are like very south people. It's so funny because we since we got married twenty eight years ago, I, we we went to live to the south part of Honduras, close to the ocean, where the shrimp the shrimp farms are there. Wow. So we went to live there. And then we, like, uh, before we came here, we had moved to South Africa. And we lived in the south coast of South Africa, too, like, close to the ocean. And then we came here, and we are in the south part of the United States. So we are always south. Oh, that's, I know, I miss the ocean, you know, because we lived in Florida for 10 years, and I, I miss the ocean and the beach so bad, because North Texas, so, you know, we're on a, we're in a lake community, which is good, but I'm definitely, I, every year I got to go back to the ocean, it's like it calls me. <laughs> yeah, I love it, I love oh my it, gosh. we well, always close. Well, it's been so, so great talking to you, and I'm just so happy that you took a chance and doing your in-person, but then realized quickly you had to pivot and then now yeah. doing your art kits and who knows what will happen with your Facebook Live. So I just want to say congratulations and, and make sure y'all go find her on Paint Happy Social Painting on Facebook um, so y'all can show her some love. And then on Instagram, paint underscore happy underscore PSL. So make sure you go find her. And any final thoughts you want to say before we go? Well, we have, um, I think we are so very blessed to have a job like this because what's better to have a job in which you really have fun, you really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. It's not, so, so it's not like a, like a job where you say, oh, you know, even if you are tired, but you like it, so you keep going and enjoy it. So, and that shows. So what I find very um satisfying about this is that we are some sort of mo motivators to people we motivate people maybe in this way you know like we are not comedians or anything but we make people smile or you know have a have a, a better mood maybe 
So mm -hmm. to bring, just to bring um, uh, creativity and art, we are doing a, a very fun job. So yeah. we are, we are, I think we are motivators yeah. and uh, we have to, to really enjoy that, you know, that we are very blessed about it. Yeah. And I think too, when, when somebody goes live and paints and talks about, you know, something that can encourage, like we're encouragers too. I feel like, yeah. you know, you're able to, to go on a Facebook live and encourage somebody and you don't know, I mean, you don't, there's millions of people logging into Facebook every single day and yes. you know, they scroll past you and see you painting a beautiful sunflower and then you start talking and they relate to you and how you can encourage them in that moment. You just don't know what people are going through in their life. And I just, I just am so happy that you're out there doing that. And it just, yeah. the world. That's very, that's very true because even with the paint parties, you do them. And then after the party or like when the, they are about to finish, you find out things that are happening with that person. Yeah. It has happened to me. And I, I'm, I'm so grateful then that, that person had the opportunity to sit there and to do something just to forget, you yeah. know, and to relax and to have another thought. So that's what you're saying is, yeah, you, you never know what other people are going through. Yeah, you don't. You don't know what other people are going through. And it's so important to just be ready, you know, be there, be ready to listen, be ready to help people. So and um, all right, well, make sure you go find her on Facebook, give her some love. And if you're, you know, close by, buy some kits from her, or she might be doing something online soon, who knows, and, and follow her and give her some love there. And I just want to say again, thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, and everybody else, if you'll let us know in the comments below, what was your biggest takeaway? And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.